This, this is Bo Nix. In the 2019 recruiting class, he was a five-star recruit and the number two quarterback in the class just behind Spencer Rattler. He would end up committing and going to Auburn, where he was expected to do many great things and propel that program back to where they wanted to be. However, Bo Nix never did reach his full potential at Auburn. He would have his flashes from here and there and would have some big games and big moments. However, he also had some lows of lows and moments that would sometimes cost Auburn the game. In the 2021 college football offseason, Bo Nix entered the portal and he would find his way at Oregon, where he's now the starting quarterback. And if you fast forward to current day, in the 2022 college football season, Bo Nix is making a comeback in his college football career as he's one of the best quarterbacks this season on an Oregon team that's top 10 with playoff aspirations. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the comeback story of Bo Nix. Before I move on, remember to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Now let's get into it. To start this video off, I'm going to briefly talk about Bo Nix in high school. At Pinson Valley High School in Pinson, Alabama, Bo Nix was one of the best players in the nation, especially at the quarterback position. When talking about his career stats, Bo Nix was a star. He threw for over 10,000 passing yards, 127 passing touchdowns, rushed for over 2,000 rushing yards, accounted for 34 total rushing touchdowns on the ground, and overall in his career accounted for 12,505 total yards of offense and 161 total touchdowns. As a recruit in the 2019 recruiting class, Bo Nix was one of the most highly coveted prospects in the nation. According to the 24-7 Sports Composite Rankings, he was a 5-star, number 33 player in the nation, number 1 dual threat quarterback, oh, number 2 overall, and the number 3 player in the state of Alabama. He held a total of 18 offers coming out of high school from schools such as Auburn, Alabama, Clemson, Florida, Florida State, Georgia, and LSU just to name a few. He would end up committing and going to Auburn. This was a great grab for Auburn, as Bo Nix in high school was one of the best quarterbacks in the nation, and his film really backed it up. A lot of analysts for recruiting thought Bo Nix could be an immediate impact player for a number of programs out there, and thought he had a lot of potential to be a multi-year Power 5 starter, and to eventually become one of the best quarterbacks in college football, and potentially an early round NFL draft pick. As a true freshman heading into the 2019 college football season, Bo Nix would be in a quarterback competition that he would come out on top of. He would win this quarterback competition being named the Week 1 Starter versus the Oregon Ducks. In this game versus Oregon, he would help lead a comeback in which they won 27-21. For the rest of the season, he would have his ups and downs, but ultimately showed a lot of potential and would have some high electric moments as well. As in 13 games played, he completed 57% of his passes, threw for 2,542 yards, 16 touchdown passes to the air, and 6 interceptions. On the ground, he accounted for over 300 rushing yards, averaging 3 yards a carry, and 7 total rushing touchdowns. In the season, Auburn would end up going 9-4. Going into his sophomore campaign for the 2020 college football season, Bo Nix's expectations were going to be raised. As he had a full year of college football under his belt, and people saw the flashes that he had as a true freshman. Yeah, he had some mistakes here and there, but ultimately, he had a lot of potential and people thought he was going to take that next step in his game for 2020. When talking about his sophomore campaign, Bo Nix was kind of disappointing. As in 11 games played, he completed 59% of his passes, threw for 2,415 yards, 12 touchdowns to the air, compared to 7 interceptions. He was still pretty decent on the ground as he had a total of 7 rushing touchdowns and 388 rushing yards. As a team, Auburn would end up going 6-5 not the expectations that anyone really expected. As you would expect, a quarterback like Bo Nix, who was a highly coveted prospect, a five-star recruit in the 2019 class, having a disappointing or somewhat disappointing 2020 campaign where he didn't necessarily meet the expectations that people had upon him, people were starting to doubt Bo Nix as a starting quarterback for Auburn. In his junior campaign for 2021, Bo Nix would have, yet again, another up and down season. He had some highs and he had some lows. 
He was even benched at one point in the fourth quarter in a game versus Georgia State in which TJ Finley came for Bo Nix. Bo Nix would also suffer an injury near the end of the year against Mississippi State, and he would end up missing the rest of the season. On the season, Bo Nix went 6-4 as a starting quarterback in the 10 games he played in for Auburn, completed 61% of his passes, threw for 2,294 yards, 11 touchdown passes through the air, three interceptions, rushed for 158 total rushing yards, and four touchdowns on the ground. As a team in the 2021 college football season, Auburn would end up finishing with a record of 6-7. At the end of that same season, Nix would enter the transfer portal and eventually find his way at Oregon. This was going to be a big opportunity for Bo Nix as he would get a new change of scenery and have a new chance with a new team. A blank slate, if you will. Unsurprisingly, heading into the 2022 college football season, Bo Nix would win the job for Oregon as ultimately he was the best player for the job as he had the most experience and usually in college football, experience usually wins most of the time. Unfortunately, Bo Nix's week one would not get off to a fast start. Neither would it for Oregon football in general. As their first game of the season, they had to play the defending national champs in Georgia. And what happened in this game? Oregon looked terrible. Oregon would end up losing this game 3-49. to And Bo Nix struggled immensely as he ended up completing roughly 56% of his passes. Through for 173 yards, zero touchdowns, and two interceptions. This was a tough game from the start for Oregon, as it was going to be tough in general already, since they were going to be playing one of the best teams in college football, a defending national champion, and would be playing in the state of Georgia. They wouldn't be playing in Athens, they would be playing in Atlanta, but ultimately, that stadium was pretty much all dog. After that game, people started to write off Oregon as a football team, and of course, quarterback Bo Nix. Fast forward to current day, Oregon is currently a top 10 team, and they have a real shot to make it to the college football playoff if everything plays out the right way and that if they win out and win the Pac-12. Right now, Oregon is currently 8-1, and, and Bo Nix is playing at an insane level. Everyone made jokes about Bo Nix at Auburn about playing focus and having fun and being a dark horse Heisman candidate. But what if I told you Bo Nix has a shot to be a Heisman candidate in 2022 as Oregon's starting quarterback. He's playing at that level, nine games in, completing 73% of his passes, throwing for 2,495 yards, 22 touchdown passes through the air, five interceptions, while accounting for a total of 457 yards on the ground, averaging over 6 yards a carry, and 13 total touchdowns on the ground. He's having a career season. He's having a year that people thought we were going to see at Auburn in 2020, 2021. He's finally putting it all together. Bo Nix is a player that shows, despite being a highly rated recruit, Sometimes you have to wait to see the results, or in this case, sometimes you need a change of scenery. And that's exactly what Bo Nix needed. He needed a change of scenery. He couldn't reach the expectations that everyone had for him at Auburn, and maybe some of the expectations people had for him were unrealistic since he was a Auburn legacy and that he was a five-star recruit. It's going to happen at every school, and it's going to happen to every five-star player. But you have to be happy that Bo Nix is finally putting it all together in 2022 as a duck. Well guys, if you made it this far in the video, drop down any future videos you want to see on this channel in the future. And before you head out, remember to smash that like button, turn on those post notifications, and subscribe if you haven't already. B. Ellie, out.